Assalamualaikum all of you. It's me Anisha Mukesh and today my topic is active and passive. First of all, the voices are today my topic is voices and voices are divided into two parts: active and passive. Active is, is a way in which the subject is a doer of an action, and passive is a way in which a subject is a, a receiver of an action. Now we use uh, we have identification of the passive. We will know how when the sentence is passive, when there is helping verb plus th verb a third form. Passive uh, we use by we use by when we want to mention the name of the subject. Uses of the passive. Uh, where there are four uses of the passive. First of all, when we don't know the subject, and second, when we don't want to mention the subject. Third, when we are interested in the action. Fourth, when we are more interested in the time. First of all, when we are uh, we don't know the uh, subject. Uh, the car is stolen. Now here we don't know the subject who stalls the car, so we can mention the subject. Second, uh, when we don't want to mention the subject, the dress is uh, the dress is pressed. Uh, now here I don't want to mention the subject that because I am not. I uh, am mentioning subject. So, uh, third, when we uh, when we are interested in the action, when we are interested in the action, and fourth, when we are in more interested in time. First of all, when we are more interested in the time. Benadi was killed in in two thousand seven. Now the your whole focus is going to two thousand seven. That because you are using this here, and uh, when you are interested in the action. Like uh, the new swimming pool is it built it built it uh, before our uh, near our house. Now here in, here the, you are interested in action. That because you are talking about the action. Thanks. Yes,